ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Medway High School. It is Hopkinton Hillers girls volleyball on HCAM. Tom Nappy on the call, Tom Dings on camera for this away game for the Hillers, our first away broadcast of the season. And we are here at Medway because this is as big as it gets when it comes to the TVL 6-0 Medway and the 5-2 Hopkinton Hillers about to do battle out there on the Medway High School court. And this matchup could very well determine who the TVL champion will be. Medway has had some tremendous wins this season, including a sweep of Medfield earlier this week. And Medfield, let's not forget, they beat the Hillers in the first game of the season. But Medway made a big statement by sweeping Medfield here in their gymnasium. And now, of course, they are going to try to do the same to the Hillers, but I'm sure Hopkinton is going to have something to say about that as we are just about ready for the start of this one. The girls have taken the floor, and we are just about ready to go. And it looks like uh, they're either not going to do the anthem, or they just did it earlier before the freshman and JV game. So we're just going to get right to the action here between Medway and Hopkinton. Let's take a look at the Hillers. We're going to start off with Sarah Pusco out there. She's coming out for Jess Meller, the libero. Then you got Angie Grabmeyer out there, as well as Allison Lorette, who's been great this season. Ivy Goglin's out there. She'll run the front line. You got Cecily McNamara out there, it looks like, to start this one off. And also, of course, Amanda Gilbert. As for the Medway Mustangs, you got Lauren Grossman out there. Megan Halatic also out there on the front line. Melissa Faulkner. As we are underway here at Medway High School, match number one, and the first point belongs to the Hillers. That one is sent long past the end line. Sam Plunkett is libero for Medway. Riley Childs also out there, a great multi-sport athlete. And you also have Kylie Sheehan, who is a basketball player as well for the Mustangs, as that is blocked in front of the net, but out of bounds it goes, and it's a Medway point. We are knotted at one. Credit that one to Riley Childs. Mustangs are set to serve. Megan Halatic with the entry. Nicely played by Miller. Goglin sends it over, and trying to dig it out, but unsuccessful there in the back line is Halatic. And Goglin picks up the kill for the Hillers. A two to one Hopkinton lead. Hillers know they'll have to have their A game today to defeat this Medway team who's red hot lately. Amanda Gilbert on the serve. Set up in front, great block by Goglin. Three one Hillers. Nice way to get this one started tonight. Good turnout here for this one as well. Some good student support for Medway. Gilbert sends that one long. The Mustangs will serve. Lauren Grossman on the entry. Substitution for the Mustangs as well. Melissa Faulkner takes a seat from the corner. Nicely done by Zale, but kept in play. That one is sent long. Sophia Theodore was trying to put it into the back, but put it too far back, and the Hillers have the serve once again. Jess Meller, the libero, on the serve. The senior sends it over. It's a good one to the back corner. The set up in front, the tip over. Nicely done by the Hillers. Good job by Angie Grabmeyer keeping that one going, as there's a dive by libero Sam Plunkett for Medway. Bump in front by Gilbert, and then set to the corner by Zell, and the hit by Lorette was going to go long, but it was touched in the corner by a Mustang. It's a Hiller's point. 5-2 Hopkinton. Jess Miller on the entry. There's the serve. A couple bumps by the Mustangs. Block in front, kept alive in Hopkinton territory. 
Nicely done by Lorette from the corner. A bump by Lauren Bergeron to save it. Sent over by the libero Plunkett. There's the setup in front, off the net. And nicely kept alive by Elena Bergeron from Medway. Good volley between these two teams right now. And that is going to be a double hit or a carry by the Hillers. So that is going to be a Mustangs point. 5-3, Hopkinton leading in set number one. On the serve is Riley Childs. She sends a dart towards the back line, the setup. Hit from the corner by Lorette. And that is going to be a violation on the Hillers. Mustangs point. Riley Childs on the serve. Right into the net. Just what Hopkinton wanted there. 6-4, Hopkinton. Zale on the serve. To the back line it goes. Bump from Childs. Set up for Childs. And... That is going to be a medway point, double hit there. Nice attempt by the Hillers to try to respond, but could not get the one hit on it. The libero to serve, Sam Plunkett. Set up in front, sent over by Sarapusco. And what do we have here, a Hillers point. And that's a double hit on Medway. Kylie Sheehan unable to respond. Allison Lorette on the serve. The senior who just keeps getting better and better as this season goes on. Right to the back line. Nicely done in front by Sarapusco. She has to respond again and does. Mark Sarapusco with the kill. Six to five, Hopkinton. Lorette on the serve. Set up in front. That is sent long. 9-5 Hillers. And uh, scoreboard said six before. And uh, they corrected that. I thought the lead was a little bit more than one. 9-5 Hopkinton as Lorette sends it to the back line. From the corner. And a nice successful block by Gilbert. Sent it back into the hands of Bergeron, and then Bergeron sends it out of bounds. Medway needs a timeout. The Hillers rolling. They lead Medway 10 to 5 in this first set, and the crowd is certainly a little bit stunned, I think, at the way Hopkinton has come out, and they have immediately made a statement early in this first set. Of course, there's still a long way to go, and this is going to be one of the toughest battles of the season for the Hillers, but they uh, were certainly battle tested last week when they got an opportunity to take on Barnstable, who's just such a tremendous volleyball program and a Division I school. And of course, they were the D1 state champions last year as well. They lost that match, but I think it certainly gave the Hillers some well needed experience, especially since they will be playing in the Division I playoff bracket for the first time this season. For those of you just joining us, we're at Medway High School. It's Hopkinton Hillers Girls Varsity Volleyball. Hopkinton leading in set number one against undefeated Medway, 10 to five. The serve from Lorette off the timeout. Great block in front. Sticking up the hand is Jenna Wilworth, Cecily McNamara by her side. 11-5 Hillers. Lorette is on a roll from the service line. Sends a beauty right to the back line. The set up in front for Medway. And that is going to go off the hands of Lorette. She'd love to have that one back. That was more than likely going to be out of bounds. But she could not hold up once she sprung into the air. So Elena Bergeron picking up the kill for the Mustangs. And now at the service line is Cecily Higgins. Or excuse me, that's Kaylee Higgins. Sends it to the back line. There's a bump by Meller. Couple bumps along that back line. Gilbert sends it over. 
Set up in front for Medway and a great block. Sarah Pusco says not right here. Rejected. Megan Halatic try to send it over. And Sarah Pusco says this is my house. Bella Otzi to the line for Hopkinton. A 12-6 lead for the Hillers. To the back line it goes. The set up in front. And that one is sent long, but I believe a Hiller touched it. No, they didn't. The official says no, I agree. 13-6, Hopkinton. Hiller has won both matches against Medway last season as Bella Ansi sends it over. And that is a bump in the back row, and it is still kept alive. A nice job, but no one there to pick it up as Megan Holatic right in front of the team bench was able to get the bump on it. It'll be another serve for Bella Ansi. 14-6 Hillers. The junior sends it over. To the back line it goes. Set up in front. And I believe this is going to be a midway point. It will. Net violation. 14 to 7. Mustangs have the well needed serve for them. Kylie Sheen at the line. Sends a nice one to the back row. Nicely played by Lorette, however, sent over by Gilbert. Set up in front. Great block. Another good job by Jenna Wilworth. This one's sent to the back line as this volley is kept going. And now we'll get the signal for the midway point. A double hit against the Hillers. Kylie Sheehan on her second serve. To the back line and Lorette lets it go by because that was out of bounds. Good eye there by Lorette, 15 to eight. Hopkinton, and they'll make a couple substitutions as Angie Grabmeyer comes in to serve. Sophomore has been stellar at the service line this season. To the back row it goes. Set up for the corner. Great block in front, but unfortunately for the Hillers, out of bounds it goes. Riley Childs with that point for Medway. Megan Halatic to serve. 15 to nine, Hopkinton to the back row and long. Hiller's point. Well, the Mustangs can't get a service role established. And that is what is allowing Hopkinton to hold on to this momentum. Gilbert to serve this time. And that one is long. 16 to 10, Hopkinton. Lauren Grossman on the serve for the Mustangs. Sends that way long. Service issues here for both teams on this. Last couple of attempts. Just Miller at the line now for the Hillers. To the back row. Bump was by Bergeron. Now the setup for the corner, and that's long. Hiller's point. Miller will do it once again. Nice one to the back row. It is played. There's Kylie Sheet in the middle of that back line. That one might have went out, but certainly uh, too close to call there. It will be a medway point as Rachel Zale sends it side out. A little too much mustard on that one. 18 to 11. Riley Childs on the serve for Medway. The bump is in the middle of the back line and I think we have a net violation here. Nope. It is going to be a Mustangs point. Thought she might have reached over the net, but the official sees better than I do. 18 to 12. Mustangs trying to stay undefeated. 
Nicely done by Lauren Grossman. Sent over by Sarah Pusco, but we're gonna have a midway point. Double hit. So we'll get Jill with the double hit there. And the Mustangs are rolling a little bit. Sent to the back line. From the corner, Lorette. Sent over from Grossman. Now the Hillers trying to respond. To the back line, nice hit by Sarah Pusco. Tempted block will not reach, but no problem because that was sent long anyway. Hillers point and serve. Rachel Zale to the service line. 19 to 13, Hopkinton in set number one. Angie Grabmeyer will take a break. Hopkinton struggling from the service line and they're allowing Medway to hang around in this first set. Libero at the line for the Mustangs. Sam Plunkett to send it over. Bump from Meller. Nicely done from the corner by Jenna Wilworth, who is having an exceptional night. A block and a kill to the credit of Jenna Wilworth. Here is Allison Lorette. To the back line it goes. Set up in front. And it was blocked and played by Wilworth, but she got a couple hits on it and a carry. 20 to 15. The Mustangs to serve. To put Melissa Faulkner at the line. She is a junior. Nicely done to the back row. Well played by Lorette. Serpusco with the attempted block. Not able to get there. All kinds of power on that one. 20 to 16. Faulkner to serve again. The back row goes. The setup. Serpusco trying to send it over, but she was rejected. Megan Halatic with the block. 20 to 17. And the Mustangs are feeling it. They are working their way back into this one. And this set is far from over. The Hillers have had a couple struggles at the service line. And they have allowed Medway to hang around. And now the Mustangs starting to establish some momentum. And that was a great timeout by Coach Grabmeyer because right now you have to settle your team down and get them focused, especially on their serves. That was ultimately the backbreaker for Hopkinton when they took on Barnstable. They just did not have it from the service line and could not establish any momentum. And if they have that same kind of performance tonight here at Medway, well, the Mustangs might stay undefeated. Medway 6-0 oh on the season. Hillers 5-2. We'll have a couple substitutions. Sent to the back line. Bumped by Meller. Sent over by Wilworth. And that is going to be a double hit against the Hillers, another Mustangs point. Slight correction, the Hillers actually six and two on the season. They did get a win already this week. Hillers point there, that one sent long. Hillers beat Millis at home to start off this week. That was on Monday. Bella Ansi on the serve. 21 to 18, Hopkinton. This one far from over. Nicely played in the back line by Lorette. The setup sent over from the corner. That was Amanda Gilbert. Mustangs respond, and that was a great smash from the back line by Riley Childs. 
Her third kill of this set, 21 and 19. Ooh, miscommunication. Jess Miller and Lorette colliding a little bit. 21 to 20. And just like that, the Mustangs are right back in here. Game time point. Set up for the corner. There's Gilbert. Over the block it goes. Hillers maintain the lead. 22 to 20, and they have the serve. Rachel Zale and Angie Grabmeyer to come in. Grabmeyer will head to the line. Jenna Willworth will take a break. She's having a good night today. Grabmeyer sends it off the net. Beauty of a serve there. The setup. And there it is from Zale to the back line. Medway can't respond. That was under the net. Nicely done. Good job by Gilbert and Zale there. And now the Mustangs need a timeout, 23 to 20. Things got a little bit scary for Medway. They started getting too close for comfort, but Hopkinton responded. Of course, they still have to score two more to try to win this set number one. But what a battle we have seen between these two TVL teams so far. And when you look at the TVL, there really is only three teams in the running for the title, and that, of course, is Hopkinton, Medway, and Medfield. Medway gave Medfield their first loss of the season earlier this week, and Medfield also lost to Barnstable in Barnstable, so they now have two losses on the year. Killers ready to serve, and you grab Meyer. Going to try to continue to roll along. It is a hot, humid athletic center here at Medway. As these temperatures have been summer-like in these late September days. But both teams are ready for this one. As we continue to battle here in set number one, the attempted block in front is not going to be what the Hillers intended as Riley Childs Puts that one right off the fingertips of Gilbert. And out of bounds it goes. 23-21. The set not over yet. Megan Halatic to the line. Bump by Miller. There's a bump by Grabmeyer. Sent over now from the left corner. Medway trying to respond. Off the net it goes. The attempt by Megan Halatic. Match point right here. A set point for the Hillers. And they're going to put the ball in the hands of Amanda Gilbert. One of their top servers. Yeah, she is struggling today, though, from the service line. That's the second time she sent it long. 24-22. Let's not forget, you have to win this set by two. At least two. And that is going to get it done. Nice job by Ivy Goglin powering it through the front line and getting the set point for the Hillers. It is a 25-22 victory in set number one, and that is certainly the hardest earned set of this season for the Hillers. But we will head to set number two. Hopkinton leading Medway one to nothing. It's Hopkinton Hillers Girls Varsity Volleyball on it. This week on From the Vault, PAW's Who's Next? A 1998 wrestling show hosted by Dave Violet and Jeff Morton it featured a dozen wrestlers that competed in backyards and wrestled on trampolines. Pace is just too big. The referee has spent more time with Superfly than watching the match. And, and what just happened there? Look at this. Destruction won't tag him. And this oh. allows Cactus to get a nice submission hold on. And he pulls the arm back to keep it from tagging now. Welcome back to Medway High School. We are ready for set number two. It's Hopkinton Hillers Girls Varsity Volleyball on H Cam. Tom Nappy on the call. Tom Ding's on camera. It's a 25-22 victory in the first set for the Hillers. 
Hopkinton six and two on the season. Medway six and oh. We'll go over the entire TVL standings in this broadcast as well. First we'll have a couple of substitutions as Medway will bring their libero in. Sam Plunkett. Now last set, certainly a little bit of a scare for the Hillers as they had control throughout most of it, but then started a struggle from the service line. Let Medway back into it, but they were able to hold them off and come away with the win. But they are going to need to be better from the service line than they were in set number one. As the opening serve by Kylie Sheehan. We are underway in set number two. A great block by Gogolin. The second block of the night. Taking a look at the stats for the Hillers, a kill and a block for Jill Sarapusco. And uh, also a block and a kill for Jenna Wilworth, who's having a pretty good night as well for the Hillers. Another block there. And Medway trying to respond, they won't. That right corner, Gogolin and Grabmeyer getting it done again. Two nothing, Hillers. We'll see if they can keep rolling along from the service line. Also in the stat book, Ivy Gogolin with a pair of kills and a block in that first set. Rachel Zale with a kill. Allison Lorette with a kill and an ace for Bella Otzi. And that is sent right to the corner with authority by Gilbert for the point. 3-0 Hopkinton. Angie Grabmeyer. Their go-to server on a roll. 18 aces coming into tonight with Grabmeyer at the line. That is right on the line. That's a midway point. Nicely done by the Mustangs as Megan Halatic got the hit on that one. Halatic to serve. Sends it long. Now on the flip side of the Hillers having service issues throughout the later part of set one, Medway had major serve issues. They have sent a lot of serves long tonight. There's Gilbert. Set up for the corner and that was Childs who's going to rack up that point for Medway. That was right off of Gilbert. Four to two. There's Lauren Grossman. That one's out, there's an ace. Grossman to serve once again. 4-3 Hillers in set number two. Set up in front. And we're gonna have a violation here. Carry. We are knotted at four. Another ace for Grossman. To the back line it goes. Bump was by Meller. Set up for the corner. Nice job by Lorette, but Medway responds. Lauren Grossman able to respond with the underhand hit. And Gilbert keeps it alive. Sent over by Lorette, still in play. Nice job by the Hillers. An attempted block in the corner, but it won't matter as that is sent long by Riley Childs. What a point by Hopkinton there. That is miraculous that Gilbert was able to keep that one going. And the deception there by Grossman as she sends it over off the net, but the Hillers respond nicely. Hopkinton point. Violation against Medway. Miller on the serve. The back line it goes, a nice one. Good block. Rejected Sarah Pusco. 
That's her second block of the night. And she has just been stellar in these last few games. Sent over by Libero Miller. Another block on the corner, and this time it's Lorette. 6-4, Hillers. Miller on the serve. That is sent long. Riley Childs to serve it up for the Mustangs. To the back line it goes. Bumped by Gilbert. The set up in front and Grabmeyer did not get that the way she wanted to. A rare mistake there for the sophomore. Knotted at six. Into the net. And that scoreboard keeps deceiving me. It's nine six Hillers. Whenever they have the eight up, it looks like a six because part of the numbering is broken. So it is nine to six, and that is sent out by Childs. 10-6. Zale on the serve. To the back line it goes. Set up in front. Great block. Sarah Pusco says, not in my house with that one. Her third block of the night. Zale to serve. 11-6 Hillers. The back line it goes, bumped by Childs, set up in front, and that is going to sneak through, but it is out. Sent along by Lena Bergeron, and the Hiller is continuing to roll. Timeout Medway, well needed. It's a 12 to six Hiller's lead, and it is good to see them come out in set number two after struggling in the later part of set number one. And they are on fire to start this one off, but they certainly have to keep this up. And not let the Mustangs get back into the swing of things like they did in set number one. But this has been a very impressive set so far by the Hillers to come in here at an away match and be up 12 to six in set number two after taking set number one. That is certainly a good place to be for Coach Grabmeyer's team. And this should certainly be a very fun year overall for Coach Grabmeyer's team, I think. Just so much talent out there on the floor. And we are ready to continue play. Rachel Zale at the line. Sends it to the back row. Plunk it with the bump. Set up on the corner now. Sent over by Bergeron. Set up for the Hillers and the it was rejected. It was Sarah Pusco trying to smash it over. Good block by Kylie Sheehan. Twelve seven. That is sent to the back line by Lorette. Bumped by Grossman. There it is, laying the smack down, Sarah Pusco. 13-7. Set to the back line, the bump by Childs, and that goes nowhere. That is an ace. The attempt by Childs is not successful. Another ace. Just rolling along from the line is Lorette. Coming into tonight, Allison Lorette had 12 aces to her credit. Two more already. 
How about another one? On fire. That one into the net. 16 to 8. Blues certainly have some good momentum, however. Medway, they have to get established from the service line. They are having all kinds of problems back there. Here is Faulkner. Sends it to the back line, a bump by Gilbert, the set up in front by Lorette, and Gilbert smashes it over. Killer's point. Good assist by Lorette. Into the game to serve for the Hillers is Bella Otzi. 17 to eight. Beauty to the back line, Plunkett digging that one out. And now the smash from the corner by Halata gives Medway a well needed point. 17 to nine, Jess Miller back in for Hopkinton. Kylie Sheen on the serve. Miller with the bump, set up in front. The smash over is going to be a point for the Hillers. Ivy Goglin with that one. And it was Ardilla on the assist. Angie Grabmeyer to serve, 18 and nine. And she'll send that one long. Megan Holatic now for Medway. And that was a great serve. Nothing you could do about that one. An ace for Holatic. Back line it goes, bump by Lorette, the setup in front by Zale, the smash over by Gilbert, and the point for the Hillers. Gilbert to the line, three kills in the set for Amanda Gilbert. And she is the team leader, she had 59 coming into tonight's contest. Sends that to the back line, the setup in front for Medway, and not Able to push it over with Sophia Theodore. That is a point for the Hillers. Little miss hit there. 20 to 11. There's Gilbert. To the back line it goes and out of play. Mark that one as an ace. Her 14th of the season. And Gilbert. Is also the team leader for points at the service line. Actually, Allison Lorette leads that category with 62 coming into tonight. Amanda Gilbert with 55. And that smash from the corner is too long by Childs. Point Hillers. 22-11. Here is Gilbert once again. Sent out of play, there's another ace. She is on a roll. Let's see if Medway calls a timeout soon or they're gonna let it just roll here. 23 to 11. We'll have a substitution for Medway, Paige Murphy into the game for Kylie Sheehan. Here's Gilbert. Set up in front, and that is sent to the back row. Nice job by Meller, who had the off-balance bump. Sent over by Gogolin. Attempted block is not successful. Sent out of play. Childs with the point. 23 to 12. Well, there's some wiggle room here for the Hillers, as they have a pretty big lead, but Certainly don't want to let the Mustangs get any sort of momentum going. And that is a nice hit by Zale sending that to the back corner. Bump over by Murphy, and that'll be played by Meller. Smart move there by Meller. 
There's Zell right through the block. And they keep it alive. That was outstanding. What a dig by Bergeron. Got to give credit there, but no problem. Ivy Goglin smashes it down. Another kill for Ivy. And the Hillers will go to the service line up 24 to 12. Set point. Chess Miller, the libero to put it over. Ivy's having a great night. Four kills, three blocks. Bumped back by Theodore, sent over by Childs. Set up in front, that was sent over, and that is going to be a Mustangs point. I believe it was a net violation. Twenty-four to thirteen, still set point for the Hillers. Childs at the line, and Riley sends it to the back row. Bumped by Gilbert, that'll go right over. Set up by Medway, nearly blocked. I think it got the fingertips of Sarapusco, still in play. And from the corner, putting the set away is Zale. And the Hillers are up 2 0 on the Medway Mustangs. They take set number two, 25 to 13, dominant fashion. And a statement made by Hopkinton, who now leads two sets to nothing as we will head to set number three. From Medway High School, it is Hopkinton Hillers Girls Varsity Volleyball on HCAM. My name is Claire. My name is Nina. I'm Kelly. I'm Haley. My name is Sasha. We're the Hiller Volleyball Team. My name is Emma. My name is May. My name is Shelby. My name is Sophie. We're Al and Gal and we love HCAM. Hey, I want to be HCAMP. We love HCAMP. And I volunteer for HCAMP TV. I watch HCAMP TV. And I love HCAMP TV. And I love HCAMP TV. We love HCAMP TV. Woo! We are ready for the third set from Medway High School. It is Hopkinton Hillers Girls Varsity Volleyball on HCAMP. We're on the road today. Tom Ding's on camera. Tom Nappy on the call. And it has been a fun one if you're a Hillers fan, that is. In the first set, Hopkinton won 25 to 22. And then they took the second set in dominant fashion, 25 to 13. And I'll tell you what, if there was one game that I thought the Hillers were not gonna sweep, it was this one. But you can never underestimate this volleyball team. But we still do have a whole nother set to play, so let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Angie Grabmeyer sends it over to the back row. It goes, the bump by Sheehan. Mustangs trying to respond, and that is kept up in play by the back line there. And the first point's going to go to Medway. And it is a double hit against the Hillers. It was Allison Lorette who kept that one in. That might have went out of bounds, but it was right at her, so she really had no choice. Megan Halatic on the serve. Here's the bump by Lorette, set up by Zale. Smashed to the back row by Gilbert and the Hillers point. They had a Gilbert just rolling along in these last couple of sets. The unofficial stats, which is my scorebook, has her at four kills and two aces. We can go over to uh, Max Preps and look up Hillers volleyball and find all the stats there. Coach Grabmeyer does a great job at keeping track of everybody. Block in front by Medway. The smash to the back row is long by Theodore, and the Hillers have the point. A nice job in that left side corner by Gogolin and Gilbert. Gilbert to the line. Beauty of a serve right to the back row. And it's sent over. Bump by Gilbert. The setup by Grabmeyer, and then sent over by Lorette, and nothing you could do there, but as Meller tried to get the bump on that, Childs with the point for the Mustangs. Two to two. Well, don't expect Medway to go away. They're undefeated for a reason. There's a lot of talent on this team, and they're gonna hang around until you put them away. Lauren Grossman on the serve. And that is sent long. Medway did have one match, I believe, this season where they were down 2 nothing, came all the way back and won. I believe it was Medway. I'll have to check on that. But they have had some comebacks. I know that for a fact. Meller sends that to the line. Dug out by Sheehan. 
And that is almost kept in play, but not quite by Bergeron. Four to two, Hillers with the lead. To the service line is Jess Miller. Well, this would be a statement win by the Hillers, and if you look at the standings, it would actually, I believe, put them at the top of the TVL, since Medfield now has a TVL loss, and the Hillers would have the tiebreaker over Medway, and the only other Hillers loss is non-league, so that doesn't really count towards the league standings. That is sent out of bounds by Elena Bergeron. Five to two. Nice job by Angie Grabmeyer there. Libero continue the service roll. To the back line it goes. Kept in play by Bergeron. Sent from the corner over to Miller. There's Gilbert with the bump. Sarpusco sends it over. Plunkett set up now by Grossman. And that is going to go off the net still in play. It was Riley Childs with a pretty nice hit. Miller sends it back. Good volley here between the two squads. That one is a blast right at Miller who keeps it in play. Nice job. And then Grabmeyer able to respond with the bump there. And then it's sent over by Lorette. Great block by Sarah Pusco. Let's see if they can do it again. This one is going to go past the block and be a midway point. And that is the hardest earned point of the night for sure. Great job by Childs. And she is racking up almost all the points for the Mustangs tonight. Eight kills to her credit. Five to three, Hiller's leading. She'll send that long. She is having trouble from the service line. Hillers are going to put Rachel Zale at the line. Six to three. Assistant coach going up there to pick up something off the floor. And Amanda Gilbert also going to wipe some spots of the floor as well. Some sweat spots. It is very hot and humid in this gymnasium. It's a beautiful field house that Medway has here, but certainly uh, pretty hot. I don't know if the air conditioner is uh, working to its fullest potential tonight. Served by Zale. Mustangs respond. Nicely done by Gilbert to keep that alive. Then Lorette, and then sent over by Zale. The set up in front. And that is right through the block. Kylie Sheehan racking up the kill. Six to four. Miller's put Mia Ardilla back into the game. Zale takes a seat. Plunkett sends it to the back line. There's the bump. Sarpusco with authority. Seven for Hillers. Lorette to serve. Beauty to the back line. Through the block. Nice point by Kylie Sheehan. Seven to five as we go back and forth here in set number three. Hillers took set number one, 25-22. Set number two, 25-13. This one's certainly more competitive. And that is long. The problems from the service line for Medway continue. And that has haunted them all night long. It's Jess Miller and Ivy Goglin doing the exchange. Goglin back into the game. She's having another tremendous night. Set to the back line. Bump in front, set over by Plunkett. There's Ardilla, and that is off the net by Gilbert. Rare miss hit there. Bella Otzi comes back out. The libero, Jess Miller back in. 8-6, Hopkinton. On the serve to the back line. Nicely done by Gilbert. Saw the open space in the middle and took advantage. 9-6 Hillers. Zale and Grabmeyer back in. Angie's going to serve. Sent to the back line. Nicely done by Zale. 
Kind of played off balance there, and then Grabmeyer sets her up for the hit over. Set up for Medway, and a misfire by Halatic. Point Hillers. 10-6. Angie Grabmeyer on the serve. Smash over. Nicely done by Lorette, who had to dig that one out. To the back line, Gilbert, and that is a Hiller's point. She has smashed that right to the line. A nice job keeping it in bounds as well with all that steam. Grab Meyer on the serve. Right through the block. Nice point by Megan Halatic. 11 to 7. A lot of these Medway players were around last season and they have come a long way since last year. Halatic into the net. Gilbert on the serve for Hopkinton. 12 to seven, Hiller's leading. Back line it goes. Goglin got a touch on that, nicely played in the back line by Gilbert. Sent over by Zale. Bumped by Grossman for Medway. Nice block in front. But it is out of bounds, Medway point. Grossman at the line. It was set up there by Grabmeyer, sent over by Gogolin. Gogolin got a touch on that one. There's Zale. Set up in front. And that was Childs from the corner. Nicely done by the Hillers to respond there. Lorette, and did that stay in? No, it didn't. Side out. That was close, right along the line, but it certainly did look out. 12 to nine, Hillers leading in set number three. They're up two sets to nothing. Bumped by Meller, the set up by Grabmeyer and Gogolin a little bit too far in front of her. Grabmeyer was trying to set her up but just left it out a little too far in front. Rare mistake there, 12 to 10. Grossman, bump in the back by Lorette, the set up. Uh, grab Meyer, then sent over by Lorette. Mustangs trying to respond here and can't. Nice job by Lorette. Jess Miller to serve. She'll serve Pusco back into the game. 13 to 10, Hillers. To the back line, nice serve there. Set up. And the smash is off the Hillers and out of bounds. I believe it was the Red who got the touch on the attempted block. Riley Childs to the line for Medway. And she has struggled from the service line tonight. And that is played by Lorette. That might have went out, but that one does go out. And no, it doesn't. It stayed in. Hiller's point. A couple of Mustangs blocked off my view from it, but it stayed in, says the official. So Mark Lorette with the kill. Zale to the line. Now the official's gonna talk about this here. The other official, I think, wants an explanation. And we talk about it, and I think we are ready. 14 to 11, Hiller's leading. Sale to serve. Sent to the back line, bumped by Meller, set up by Zale, the smash by Sarah Pusco, and the point for the Hillers.
Zell to serve once again. Hillers trying to sweep undefeated Medway on their home floor. Lorette sends that into the net. Still a long way to go though, 19 to 12. This Mustangs team, they can retaliate, especially if they start hitting it from the service line. They've had all kinds of issues tonight. Hopkinton in the second set and throughout much of this set has just played perfect. Plunkett sends that one over. Bump on the back line, the setup. Nicely done by Sarah Pusco, and she'll tip that one over, but out. I think her hands went over the net as well. 15-13. Medway itching a little closer. Sam Plunkett to serve, but first we'll have a court wipe. Some sweat spots over there. Lauren Grossman going to wipe it up. I have to say, though, a nice turnout by these Medway fans. Some good student support for their beloved volleyball team. And it always is a great atmosphere here at Medway, regardless of the sport. It's very good student support for all sports. Sam Plunkett to serve. To the back line it goes. Set up by Ardilla and then pushed over. That was Morgan Allen, I believe. And then it is going to be put in the open space by Grossman. It is now a one-point game. 15-14, Hillers leading. Sam Plunkett to serve. Coach Grabmeyer resting some of the starters. That one played by Gilbert. There's Ardilla, and Allen sends that into the, or excuse me, that is Wilworth on the corner. All knotted at 15 now. Medway starting to feel it. Sam Punk Plunkett, the libero, sends it over. Punk by Gilbert, then Miller, and then it is sent over. And that was a smash right at Miller, and that is going to be a Medway point. Credit Megan Holatic with that one. 16-15, Medway has taken a lead in set number three. And hold everything, this one's not over yet. As the Hillers call the well-needed timeout, they'll talk things over. And try to get momentum back on their side. As for the first time tonight, they are playing from a deficit. They have dominated against undefeated Medway all night long. But now the Mustangs starting to have some luck from the service line and things may be turning around a bit. And Coach Grabmeyer going to settle her team down and say, hey, let's get this thing done. Of course, she's saying a lot more than that. I'm sure they're talking all kinds of strategy. We'll see who she puts in there. She did switch up the talent a bit for the last few minutes. Giving some of the starters a rest. She's going to stick with essentially the same group. So it'll be Jenna Wilworth, Amanda Gilbert, Jess Meller in the back line. And then in the front, we've got Mia Ardilla, as well as Allison Lorette and Jill Sarapusco. Sent over by Plunkett. Hiller is now trailing by one. And now they're trailing by two. Megan Holadic with the kill. That's her third kill of this set. Sam Plunkett to serve. Bumped by Gilbert, set up by Ardilla, and then that is sent over by Wilworth, kept in play. Wilworth responds again, and that is sent long. The Hillers break the midway streak, and they needed that. Nice job by Wilworth on the corner. At the line, Lorette. Right through the block. 
Point awarded to Medway. I think we had a net violation too. 18 to 16, Medway leading in set number three. There's Lauren Grossman. Jess Miller with the bump and there's Wilworth. And now it is sent over by Lorette. Set up in front and right through the block. Off of Lorette it goes. Another kill for Megan Holadic. Nineteen to sixteen. Midway trying to distance themselves. Right over the net. Set over by Wilworth. Set up in front. Nice block. But did she grab a piece of the net? No, she didn't. Point Hillers. Good job by Wilworth and Sarah Pusco on the corner. I believe it was Wilworth who got the touch on it. 19 to 17. See if the Hillers can respond here. Bella Ansi at the line. Puts it right to the back row. Set up. Nicely played by Lorette. Good response by Medway. Riley Childs with the smash. Twenty to seventeen. Well, the Mustangs are a team you cannot take your foot off the gas playing against. Too much talent. And we're going to get a court wipe here on the Medway side. And as I've mentioned a couple times tonight, certainly uh, pretty humid in this gymnasium. Both teams working very hard out there. Leaving it all out on the floor tonight. Kylie Sheehan on the serve. Sends it to the back row. Bump by Lorette. There's Sarah Pusco, sent over by Libero Miller. And that is punched over the block. Kept in play by Gilbert. And then a good dive there by Zale to keep it up. For Ardilla, rather. And that is sent out on Medway. Side out as Faulkner sends it long. 20 to 18. Miller's inching back. Angie Grabmeyer to serve. To the back line it goes. The set up. Block in front, and it's a good one. Gogolin. Gogolin and Sarah Pusco combining on the right corner. 20 to 19. Hillers with a chance to tie it. Angie at the service line. Pass the block, set long. And we are all knotted at 20. Hillers now trying to retake the lead in set number three. Angie Grabmeyer. To the back row it goes. Bump by Bergeron. The set up, smash from the corner. And Riley Child says, not so fast. 21-20. She is racking up the kills tonight for Medway. 11 kills for Riley Childs. Megan Holadic on the serve into the net. Well, that is something you certainly can't do at this point in the third set, trailing two to nothing if you're Medway. Amanda Gilbert at the line for the Hillers. Set up in front, and that is a great shot by Childs right at Gilbert. Just too much power on that one. Medway will serve. Nodded at 22. Pushed over, and that is a net violation. 23 now for Medway. Lauren Grossman on the serve. Bump by Meller, the setup. Goglin 
and that is right along the line. That is in. A beauty by Goglin. 23-22. Medway leading by one. Jess Meller on the serve. Set up in front, pass the block, bumped by Meller. Is set up by Grabmeyer. Smash right over the block by Zale. Medway keeping it alive. The bump by Plunkett. Sent back over. Nicely done by the Mustangs. Sent to the back line. Bump by Childs. Sent over now by Theodore. Is set up by Grabmeyer. And that is hit over there by Lorette. Mustangs trying to respond. Great volley between these two teams here. And that is set right. At the back line by Zale for the kill. We are tied at 23 apiece. And there was nothing Kylie Sheehan could do with that one. Jess Meller to continue from the service line. And that is side out. Oh, that one hurts. 24-23. Set point for Medway, but first Coach Grabmeyer going to talk things over. And Jess Meller would love to have that serve opportunity back. That is not what she wanted to do there. But the Mustangs, they have a big chance to keep this going. And they just need to come up with one more point. Let's win by two or more. And we'll head to a fourth set. And if Medway is able to win that, we'll have a fifth set. Of course, the fifth set only will go up to 15 points. The Hillers hoping to avoid an additional set tonight. But they have their work cut out for them here. The Mustangs, they got rolling from the service line. Late in this third set, that was the difference. That's what allowed them to put up points. They've been struggling from the service line all night long, but they are finally serving well. Riley Childs there now. She was having big problems earlier, but her last few opportunities, she has served great. Bump by Gilbert. Grabmeyer sets it up. And that is pushed over in front there by Wilworth. And the smash to the back line is out. And we are knotted at 24 apiece. You got to win by two or more. Zale to serve. What a great set between these two teams. Can Zale put the Hillers up? To the back line it goes. Plunkett bumps it over. Set up, push over. It's pushed over by Sarah Pusco. Nice volley back and forth. Exception there, the hit over by Wilworth. Off the fingertips of the blockers, but kept in play. The smash over to the back line, and the Hillers lead. Amanda Gilbert with the point. The Hillers need one more. 25 to 24. Medway wants a timeout. What a comeback by the Hillers. Just when you think the Mustangs might take this third set, Hillers come right back, rolling along, and they're able to string together some points. Such a resilient team. Once again, for Coach Grabmeyer. And they are one point away from sweeping undefeated Medway. Can they do it? This has been a fun one to call, that's for sure. Rachel Zale on the serve. To the back line it goes. Captain play for now. Sent over by Bergeron. Zale with the setup, and there it is. Jill Sarapusco with the winning point for the Hillers. And Medway is undefeated no more as Hopkinton puts a L in the Medway record book via a sweep. 25-24. 
25 to 22 in the first set, 25 to 13 in the second set, and 26 to 24 in the third set. And the Hillers improved to seven and two on this season. Medway will fall to six and one. Certainly a tough loss for the Mustangs, but the Hillers are loving it because they are now on top of the TVL. A very well-earned victory tonight for Hopkinton at Medway High School. Well, this has been a fun one to call for Tom Dings on camera. I'm Tom Nappy. This has been Hopkinton Hillers Girls Varsity Volleyball on HCAM. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll talk to you soon.